Welcome to Africa Tribal. Africa Tribal. Africa Tribal. Ten amazing facts about the Maasai people. When it comes to numerous surprises, one cannot underrate Tanzania as a nation with multiple tribes. Everything from well-known park to the colorful landscape, breathtaking of the apex volcano and water locations, Tanzania has a wide range of beautiful, attractive areas that many tourists would like to visit. But the tribe called Maasai has become the most famous area in Tanzania people come from the world to visit. Learning about the Maasai way of life, rich heritage and vibrant culture is also known as safari cultural excursions. As earlier said, there are over 130 ethnic groups in Tanzania. Maasai is seen as the most notable people whose lifestyle can be treated easily. The Maasai people settled in Kenya and northern Tanzania. They are meant to be semi-nomadic and cease not to practice the culture handed over to them. To learn more about the Maasai people, here are the 10 facts about them. 1. God gave them cattle. The Maasai people are really blessed with cattle as their basic source of wealth. They really own cows to solve their social, physical, economical and financial needs. That is to say that the cows provide milk for consumption, sort out everyday life issues and ritual usage. They are found in cow raiding, stealing of livestock from neighbor to enrich themselves. Cattle play so many significant roles among them when it comes to rite of passage like birth, marriage, transition, etc. 2. Dot, they are nomads. The Maasai people normally live as a nomad or semi-nomad lifestyle. As a nomad, it is practically known that there is no possibility for one to settle in a place permanently. Likewise, the Maasai people move around in search of green pasture for their cattle. 3. Dot, they are lion hunters. It looks so terrifying when one would hear about an African country hunting for a wild and dangerous animal like a lion and not any other lesser classical animals. The Maasai are renowned for their strength, courage, might and hunting skills. They have a reputation as a warrior tribe. The Maasai people are surrounded by large ferocious predators like lion, tiger, buffalo etc. That is why they have to learn the skills of hunting these animals. In order not to be victimized of injury or death, the Maasai warriors occasionally go for lion hunting alone with their traditional weapons. But recently, the elderly ones among them see lion as a dangerous animal not to chase after alone. When a man kills a lion, a mark would be left on their chest to denote a sign of slaughtering. As some researchers may have at the moment, the Maasai people are not hunting lions anymore. 4. Dot after death ritual The Maasai people have more than three or four rituals, but our major concern here is that of death. What is their practice on the aspect of death and how do they perform their burial ceremony? The Maasai practice family simple funeral rites. They do not believe in the hereafter. Unlike most cultures that bury their dead, the Maasai have a burial called predator or scavenger burial. A situation whereby they leave the bodies of the deceased loved one for the predator or scavenger to eat it up. They believe that human beings are just like an empty vessel for spirit to dwell in. The spirit would become functional when the spirit is gone dot. They also hold on this practice by saying, burying a corpse will pollute the solid and harm ecological system. Though, this tradition is gradually fading away because of the current modern trends in the world. 5. Dot wealth is measured in terms of cattle. For one to be recognized as a wealthy man among the Maasai people, one needs to be a possessor of numerous cows and livestock. Through this you will confer great status, honor and respect. The cows are the most crucial of their existence. They don't measure wealth in terms of money or physical items, rather they count the number of cows you have, and that makes you a wealthy person. The quantity of cows can be a possible means for a man to get married, 6. Maasai Jumping Dance. Adumu is referred to as jumping dance by the Maasai people. The man is the only gender permitted to partake in this form of dance. They demonstrate their power and skills through dancing as the women stand or spectate to cheer them by shaking their jewelry back. Neck and shoulder, songs, or music are in line to keep them motivated. The notion behind this jumping dance is that 
When someone jumps and dances very well, it gives room for tallness to attract women and energy boosting. This is aligned with their cultural dealings. Seven dot, they don't eat meat but drink fresh blood of the animals. This is another surprising fact about the Maasai people. They do drink the raw blood of the cows and goats. Maasai believe towards this is that having new blood will help them recover from injuries and provide the body the nutrients they need. Dot the process of draining this blood is by tying the neck of a cow and a Maasai man will shoot his arrow at close range, piercing the neck of the cow and then collect the blood with the use of bull or gourd. Dot the blood can be taken with milk or taken as fresh as it is. Eight dot Maasai children are named after three months. Name is a vital tool for easy identification in Africa settings and the world at large. No noun exists without a name. Man as God's image must also be given a name. The Maasai people do not take naming casual. Due to high infant mortality rates, it has become a custom for the parents to wait for three months before naming a child. There would also be a form of isolation of the child and the mother for three months. The parents are not permitted to cut the hair of the child, except or after three months. A naming ceremony is introduced after three months called Enkipukonodo Eiji, which is interpreted in English as coming out of the seclusion period dot the hair of the child can be shaved off. In order for a new one to grow a fresh dot IT means the beginning of new life in the Maasai Kingdom. Nine dot women build houses. Some culture demands that men are responsible for erecting a structure where their families would lay their heads dot. But for the Maasai people, the women are responsible for the building of traditional Maasai huts, popularly known as Inkajikik in Maasai language. The materials used for erecting or building this hut are the mixture of cow ding and mud for the walls, alongside the sticks. Most of the buildings are in circular shapes with one room or more dot the women are expert and competent to raise this kind of structure that cannot be easily destroyed by any weather conditions, be it rain or wind. 1 dot the Maasai clothing and ornaments. One of the things that makes a cultural difference among ethnic groups is clothing. The Maasai clothing is not all that stunning, but it has a specific purpose it serves culturally. The shuka which they wear serve as a trademark. Their attire is typically crimson, and they believe that the crimson normally scares lions. Men among this tribe use belts and necklaces, and ankle bracelets as part of the ornaments. While the women use bangles and other specific bedwork, most jewelry items are typically made from beads. In conclusion, Maasai people are so unique with a fascinating culture that cannot possibly turn to the mud dot they love humans, so distinctive in the area of music, dancing and natural beliefs. Their culture is so interesting to talk about dot the above, a few discussed. Many more can be cited by others. Thanks for watching, please do like and subscribe for more.